Hey guys, I'm back. I'm excited to be pouring again. I missed it. Uh, I was doing a few bits here and there and a lot off camera. Um, just taking a bit of a break for the holidays. So I'm back 2020 excited. It's Monday. It's rainy and gray day here in Dublin. Kids went back to school for their, today's their first day back since their Christmas holidays. Um, I think it's a nice day, nice rainy day, kind of first Monday back. They'll be wrecked when they come home. Homework, dinner, bath and bed. <laughs> so I am today, I'm going to do a quick mix of a uh, mixing video and do a pour as well. So today I'm using Vivid Enamel. It's a tintable paint base. This is by Color Art. I'm going to be mixing this with this. This is a triple thick polyurethane um, varnish. Okay. And we'll be mixing one part, one part. So easy peasy. Um, and then I'll mix... I have already mixed most of my colors, but I wanted to mix up one of the primary elements um, colors for you guys so you can see how I mix them. So we'll be doing that. Firstly, I wanted to give a shout out to Leslie, the creator of these gorgeous products that she has created for us to play with um, and make art with. Not only is she been so kind to send me these to experiment with and play with and pour with and create art with but she's also become um, a good friend to me I we chat video chat and I enjoy talking to her she's lovely so shout out to you Leslie and thank you um, now let's get started with a pour or a mix not a pour okay so I have my scale this was for my baking when I was doing cakes, but I've pulled back from that. And now it has become my um, art scale. <laughs> uh, a lot of my cake decorating tools have been now converted over to my art painting tools. Anyway, let's not get off track. Okay, so I have this zeroed. It's uh, set to mill. It's just what I do. I don't know if that's the correct way, but this is what I do. I'm also following Sashkia's um, recipe. I watched her mixing video with the Vivid Enamel and the uh, varnish. And so this is what I'm following. I'm following hers. I will link her in my description. If you don't haven't seen her channel yet, um, stop over there and say hi. So, we're going to put the cup on here, zero out my scale, okay, open this up, and this goes a long way, especially when you're using the pigments, or even the tube paints, you don't use a lot um, when you're doing, say, the blooms, this is great for the blooms, right, um, or the swipes, um, you use this you don't use a lot of paint you mostly use a lot of you know base paint your first layer that goes down I'm not doing house paint today but I'll, I'll we'll talk about that okay so I'm gonna put in and this is a high gloss I'm gonna go we're gonna go 40 mil of this and then we'll do 40 mil Okay, and good thing to do when you're using this, you make, just wipe your top off before you twist it back up. Makes it easier to open next time. So we put this off to the side. Okay, so I have 40 mil. Let's open this. Don't think I had that closed very tight. Okay. I'm just going to give a quick mix of this. This is what this looks like. Okay, and this is a matte. 
Okay, so we're gonna drop in, I'm gonna do 40 mil here. So we're bringing it up to 80. Okay, now, give that a wipe and clean that up. Okay, so that's at, Eighty. Okay. So that's that. We're done with our pouring medium. You just give it a good mix. I'll show you the consistency, which is um, pretty good for the uh, pigments for this. You want the triple thick when you're doing the pigments. Okay, and give this a nice mix. Okay, so I'll show you here. So it's nice and thick, okay? So the deal, so when you're doing the pigments, we're gonna mix one up now. This consistency is perfect for these, okay? So when you add, but when you add the tube paints, you do um, just a dollop of tube, tube paint. And then I would fill these little cups up to, almost up to the top right about here and it's going to be i probably should mix one of those up as well and then to, it, that's going to be a bit thick it's going to be thicker than your pigments so what i've been doing is been adding um the folk art polyurethane varnish to thin it out so i just put a few drops in give it a mix and when it starts matching my let's see consistency of my pigments then I'm good to go okay so I'll just keep adding and mixing until it's runnier like the pigments so that's easy okay so let's mix up a pigment so we're gonna go with jasmine which is one of my favorites okay and this is the primary LMA sorry guys my camera filled up and I had to delete some files like always <laughs> never enough storage okay so i have my little plastic shot glass yes and we're going to mix up the jasmine primary elements color art okay so what i do there's many different ways you could do this or pr different products you can use but the easiest way for me is i'm gonna put this on the scale so we can see exact measurements here okay the easiest way for me is you get these little spoons when you order your primary elements okay so i do about a half spoon right drop it in there you can even go a tad bit less than a half spoon okay now to wet these down to get them to dissolve properly and to get them full impact of the color you want to wet them down first. So I just use a bit of pouring medium. You could just use a bit of varnish, uh, but I have this mixed up here. And so why not just use what I have? Works for me. Okay, so just a small bit. So right now we're at three mil. And then you just mix this until they're all dissolved. To make it easier on mixing, you could add a small bit of the pouring medium first and then drop in your pigments. So you don't have to worry about scraping around on the bottom. Um, another thing is get, you know, these little cups with um, that don't have any ridges inside or anything like that. So it's just, okay, now you can really see the color now. Look, gorgeous, isn't it? 
absolutely beautiful. Love it, love it, love it. Definitely one of my favorite colors. And the primary elements, okay? So, take that spoon out. So at about three mil there, so I'm just gonna keep that there. My spoon's in there, so it's gonna add a mil. Okay, now we add the rest of the pouring medium now that that is dissolved. I'm gonna take this up to about 20. Five, twenty-five, twenty-five, ish. Okay. Okay. So now we just mix the rest of that up. And I mean, this is just the fun part mixing for me. <laughs> it's satisfying. Therapeutic. I love color. So now when you're using this, you want your tube paints to be the same consistency, okay? So you thin them down with the uh, polyurethane gloss varnish. That's what I do. It works for me anyway, but yeah, you just have to experiment and see how things go for you. But this works for me, and I got this again from... Saskia. The mix. Okay, and you want to make sure you get all that color from the bottom to mix in evenly. And when these are sitting, if you know you know you mix them up the night before, um, just give them a slow mix before you start pouring. But that there's the consistency there. It's there's nothing wrong with that. Let's see if you can get the shimmer. Okay, now. So beautiful. Okay, so let's get this away. Now, I think, let me look on my, I have my computer, the website pulled up color art. They start shipping for their um, Bright Blooms set today. You get 12 of the, of the primary elements, right? And you can go on their website and check them all, but one of my favorites, is the Wine and Roses. I have that mixed. I used this last night and I might use this today. But you can see how gorgeous that color is. It is my new obsession. Okay, so that's, let's see, and then you get Passion, and you get Coral Berry, Poppy Red, Key Lime, Fabulous, uh, Ginger Flower, I have that mixed up. Let's see. Oh, that's not my ginger. Did I use all the ginger flower? I think I used all my ginger flower. Well, my mix that I had last night. Uh, boysenberry, sunflower, peacock feather, awesome green. Um, so you get that in the January set. So you get 12 colors. And this set is a bit different because you actually get, instead of the polypore, you get the Vivid Enamel, okay? So if you wanted to try this out, maybe think about getting the set this month because um, it's all about blooms, okay? You can get a smaller set, which you get um, 12 colors. And I'm sorry, I'm just reading this off here. You get 12 colors and an eight ounce bottle of the Vivid Enamel. Okay, or you can go big bright blooms and get a 32 ounce, um, the same bottle here, 
of the vivid enamel and then the 12 colors, okay? So that starts shipping today. Yeah. Um, let's see. And you use my coupon code below. I believe it's Erica Hughes 120. And you get 20% off your order. Um, all across the board on the color, color art website. So whatever you purchase, you get 20% off. Okay. So that's that. So now we're gonna jump into pouring. So hopefully you guys can see how easy that is to mix that up. It's easy, it goes a long way. And when you're doing this style, the blooms or the bloom swipes, when you're using um, Shelly Art's pouring medium equivalent, you, um, you don't use a lot of paint. I, I, yeah, you don't use a lot of paint. I haven't bought paint in a while. Um, so today we're going to be pouring on a 12 by 12 canvas and the base is going to be silver by Amsterdam. This is a very nice, um, for the base, it looks like velvety. It's been a while since I've done a silver base and I've seen Molly do one recently and it was gorgeous. So I'm going to give that a go again. Um, and we're going to do a swipe that's what I do now swipes <laughs> um, and yeah so I'll get set up cleared out and bring you guys back in for the swipe All right. so plan silver base okay this is a 12 inch Arteza black canvas it's I'm using black just because it's I don't have any white left um, and then I was thinking what am I gonna swipe with black or white and then I was like I wonder how silver swiping with silver will do I'm putting down a silver base. So I quickly mixed up silver. I do one in one. This is the Australian Flood Flow Troll and the Amsterdam um, silver, standard ser series silver paint. Okay, so I did a test bloom just to see if I can get cells with it. And I did. And I, for the, I was gonna totally use a different color palette, but I'm really liking this the test piece that I did. I just poured some house paint down on a um, kitchen towel and did Amsterdam's Red Violet and Primary Elements Wine and Roses and Lamp Black by Amsterdam. Blew it out with silver and I got this. And I'm really loving it. So I actually wish I would have done that on a tile or something so I could stretch it and keep it. but. Fortunately, I can't. So I'm going to move this over here. Oh, I'll give you a close-up of it. So it's pretty. So we'll see how it's going to look with a swipe. Never swiped with silver. That's why I wanted to test it out before I actually did the piece. Now for swiping, I'm going to use my scrapers that I got from with my mat from Lily Veppi. Love life. Um, I have a coupon for five dollars $5 off these mats for Jumbo and Mega code below. So I'm going to swipe with these, wiping after each swipe. Get my kitchen towel. So firstly, I'm going to put my base down. Okay, get these out of the way. Okay. Now, I'm not going to be tilting much. I might tilt just to stretch out the cells. We'll see how it goes. So I want a nice thin base layer down, okay? And this silver is fabulous. It just looks velvety. Oh, I have to get my torch. Okay. So I'm just getting down to the corners and then I'll go over. It's velvet. <laughs> I love it. I'll go back down this way. Okay, and back to here. And again, I don't want too much paint left on this. My air bubbles are giving me like these little, <laughs> it's funny. Okay.
Okay. Let's bring that back to the center, whatever's left. Help us swipe with, and then we'll take these. I know I need gloves. And I'm not sure how the edges are gonna look after this dry, so I'll probably have to paint them. Which I should have just painted the silver on first. What are you gonna do? So I'm back, I just did a quick torch on that. We're gonna start with Red Violet by Amsterdam. Get that off to the side and then we're gonna go for Wine and Roses, Primary Elements. Oh, I hope this turns out nice. Oh, sugar. Snap. Never learn. Never learn. Okay. I will. It's okay, we're swiping. Okay, and then we're gonna go Lamp Black by Amsterdam. Let's learn now. Okay. Okay. And then Cell Activator Silver, Australian Flood Flow Draw. Okay, fingers crossed, guys. Here we go. Oh, I do this thing where I don't breathe and then I like. <laughs> shift the weight of my body onto my heels. It's just, that's amazing. Okay. White clean. Kind of overlap a little bit if you want. Sometimes the, I just did a little balloon dip with my finger. And there went my camera again. And the last side, looking nice so far, I think. I'll come back and clean up the little bits. Sometimes you get cool effects with the little streaks, so. Some people ask, uh, why don't you just swipe with, you know, something that's as long as the your line. But then you get cool little designs, especially when you're tilting these. All right. Is this one clean? Yeah. Okay. Issue here. And oh, it's nerve wracking. Okay.
The edges are always the hardest, I think. Never fully get them. Okay. Whew, let's breathe. It's cool. I like the silver, the swiping with the silver. It's kind of neat. All right. Okay. Now we got to touch up these somehow. Without messing it up. Wow, okay. I might just leave them. Yeah, I think I'm just gonna leave that as is. Do a little stretching of the cells and call it, cause I kinda like this. Touch up that. Yeah, I don't think I should worry about those edges. So I'm just gonna slowly move this back and forth. Try not to mess up my cell structure, but then also try and get that middle to stretch a little bit. Wow. Okay, that's not going to move too much. Wow. So velvety looking. Just going to go nice and slow. And now the fact that they're saying... You know, there's not... There's no cells here or down here... I don't mind that. I think it looks cool. It gives it something to, you know, it's not just the same. It's not too samey. I think this would look nice if the, um, this was offset. So next time I'll do the line, say here and then swipe because I wouldn't be able to like shift this without messing up my cell structure. I don't think there's not just not enough. So I'm just going to leave it as is. I'm happy with it. I love it. Bring you guys in for a close up and you guys, please let me know what you think. Is it, do you like it? Should I have not done the silver background? Let me know what you think. Okay. Okay, so here we are. Close up time. I think it's cool. Don't know what you guys think, so let me know. Silver swipe is kind of fun. You can see those like ridges where when I was swiping, I must have like kind of went whoop like that a little bit. Which I think it gives it kind of a cool effect anyway. So there we go. There's the center. So you can see those are definitely blooming cells, okay? And that was with the vivid enamel for the pouring medium. So very cool, guys. Let's see if we can get some shimmer. Oh, I love that little section right there. It's so cute. <laughs> it's like grapes or something. I don't know. Very cool. All right. Well, that's me, guys. Thanks for watching. Um, hope you guys enjoyed. Let me know what you think.
And if you haven't subscribed, please subscribe, hit the bell, like the video, check the description below for links, codes, all that good stuff. And I will talk to you guys next time. All right. Bye, guys. See you later. Bye.